everyone, it is Emily again, back with you to read some more of Matthew. Today we are going to be in Matthew chapter 13. So go ahead, pause the video if you need to find your Bible, and also don't forget to grab your epic journal or another notebook and a pen or pencil so you can take some notes. Now today we are going to be skipping around a little bit in the verses. We're going to start with Matthew 13, 1 through 9, and then we're going to skip down to verse 18 and do 18 through 23, okay? And I'll let you know when we do that jump. But pause the video, find Matthew chapter 13, and then we'll get started. You can read along or you can just listen, whatever is easiest for you. Here we go. That same day, Jesus went out of the house and sat by the lake. Such large crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat on it, while all the people stood on the shore. Then he told them many things in parables, saying, A farmer went out to sow his seed. As he was scattering the seed, some fell along the path, and the birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky places where it did not have much soil. It sprang up quickly because the soil was shallow. But when the sun came up, the plants were scorched and they withered because they had no root. Other seed fell among thorns, which grew up and choked the plants. Still, other seed fell on good soil, where it produced a crop, a hundred, sixty, or thirty times what was sown. Whoever has ears, let them hear. Okay, now we're going to jump down and find verse 18. Did you see it? Okay, here we go. Listen then to what the parable of the sower means. When anyone hears the message about the kingdom and does not understand it, the evil one comes and snatches away what was sown in their heart. This is the seed sown along the path. The seed falling on rocky ground refers to someone who hears the word out and at once receives it with joy. But since they have no root, they last only a short time. When trouble or persecution comes because of the word, they quickly fall away. The seed falling among the thorns refers to someone who hears the word, but the worries of this life and the deceitfulness of wealth choke the word, making it unfruitful. But the seed falling on good soil refers to someone who hears the word and understands it. This is the one who produces a crop, yielding a hundred, sixty, or thirty times what was sown. Hmm. That's an interesting parable that Jesus told. If you didn't know, parables are when Jesus tells a story in the Bible to help teach us a lesson. And all of those seeds in the story represented the word of God, all of the good news about Jesus and all of his good laws and rules about how to live our lives. I'm going to think about what kind of um, way that I'm taking the seeds. Am I being good soil or am I not listening to the word of God? I'm going to think about that and pray and probably take some notes. You should do the same. See you next time.